Hello and uh, welcome AG Decoders to another video and uh, this is just a quick one to show you how to load a game that you're working on in uh, AGD into AGDX. Obviously you can save off as a tap file but uh, what I'd like to show you here is an alternative method which is saving a binary. So what you do is you go to save binary data and um, you can see here I've already saved it once but here I'm going to call it terrapins.bin I'm putting in here 32,000 and here 33535 so all the memory from 32,000 and above and I'm going to save that off now so that I can then uh, load it in later into uh, AGDX so uh, the reason that we do this is sometimes uh, AGDX once memory gets very low uh, some of the, there can be some little bits of corruption and when you try to load a tape in it won't work so the other thing that we need to do is save the character set here maybe you've got some ASM maybe you've got a font that you want to use same principle so you now open the character set make sure you've got it actually open so that it's in the right place in memory give it a name and uh, this time you save it off under a different address obviously and uh, the address that you need to use uh, here is uh, the following 31232 two. and this is 768 bytes in total so save that off always remember to have the character set open when you do this okay so those are the two files you basically save off the uh, the main memory and uh, you save off the character set there with any with any sort of defined characters or embedded ASM in them okay so let's switch over now as you can see here I'm now in Arcade Designer X version 4.7.2 and uh, I'm just gonna load in the binary that I've already shown you so uh, let's start by uh, just going to the file menu and this time of course we choose load binary data and I load in terrapins.bin open it up and of course here now I choose 32000 32000 and uh, if you don't have a character set then that would be enough the, the, the main files are now uh, loaded the sprites the objects and so on are now in memory but uh, what I'm going to do, of course, is uh, load up the character set now. So we choose load binary data. We choose Terrapins chars this time. And we load it into 31232. Two. And uh, as you'll see, I'll go back to the character set now. And there you go. I've loaded in the character set with the uh, assembly code and everything else. And as you can see, the memory has updated itself. And if we have a look here into uh, one of the event scripts, you can see that uh, it's all loaded in fine. There are the scripts. And as you can see there, it's the uh, shortened versions, uh, which you'll be familiar with if you've used AGDX. So that's how you can load your game in. All the data will be in there. Let's just run a quick test. There you go. There is Terrapins up and running safely. So that's it really, all up and working. You can uh, open sprites and see the memory addresses, use the uh, shorter commands, and obviously the bug fixes are in there as well. So that's how you do it. Um, you can get AGDX from the link below, and uh, I look forward to hearing about uh, any experiences you may have had. So in the meantime, keep enjoying AGD, keep enjoying the spectrum, and happy coding. Bye bye.